So for our adjustments, a lot of times we use this instrument. It's called the integrator. And I'm going to do an adjustment here on uh, her upper cervical spine, her atlas. Um, and the technique or the, the approach and technique we use, or I use at the office here, is called MC squared or MC2. Uh, so here it is. doing down here is I'm looking at her leg lengths and when she first turns to face down her right leg is short relative to her left leg uh, by close to a half an inch and then I'm checking different spots along her spine different key areas to find out where we can create balance by doing adjustment in that spot and so when I kind of go up and back like this that's what I'm looking to find out Creating that balance between the leg lengths tells us that the postural tone is balanced. And what that tells us is that the brain is functioning well and communicating with the body. Which is really our goal of every adjustment. To remove the subluxation which interfere with that normal communication and have the body work as a better functioning brain. So while the adjustments are subtle and not very forceful, because we do it at the right place at the right time for the body to accept, it has a large impact on the nervous system.
So I'm looking for a continuity in the breath in the respiratory way we call it, so that as she breathes, there's movement through the spine that's in a coordinated fashion and no areas left out all the way up to the occiput or the, the head and then circling back around. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but that's what we're looking for. All right, very good. We're all balanced out now.